Hi, my name is Belgica and I'm an actress based out of California and a lot of people comment about how can I come to the US and be an actor and I don't really know because I came here when I was really young so I got my friend Shivali today um, to talk to you guys about how she came here. She's not an actress but she did come from India as an adult so I thought it'd be cool to get her perspective on how she did it and it's not going to apply 100% to actors and how actors can get here but it will be helpful to see somebody who has, you know, come to this country and uh, studied here. And then, yeah, so you guys can just learn a little bit about how that is done. So Shivali, if you want to introduce yourself um, and just say what you do. Mm -hmm. uh, so hi, guys, I'm Shivali and I'm working as an engineer and also a YouTuber. Yeah, and she has a lot of videos on how she paid for school and a lot of um, school related videos as well. So if you guys want to go check it out. And she's also a super talented singer. If you guys want to go hear her sing. Why are you shaking your head? She is. And she has super fun vlogs. Um, yeah, it's really I watch her channel and it's not just because I'm her friend. I watch it because I really like her videos. So you guys should check out her channel. And of course, I'll um, feature her channel at the end of today's video. Um, but let's get into it. How did you like how did you decide you wanted to come study in the US and then how did you get your visa okay so I did my undergrad in Delhi so I was studying computer science and then I decided that um, I want to do a master's degree as well and for that I decided to um, apply for schools in the US and um, if you if you're planning to study in the US the process is kind of like simple you just have to apply to universities and when you get the admit they send you like all the documents and then you can start with your visa application. Oh, so so when you like decide you want to study in the US, it's like you basically apply for a university mm -hmm. and they will help you figure out how to get your visa? Uh, yes, uh, because they would send you an I-20 document and that uh, you'll use that to schedule your visa appointments. Uh, so that's the first step. And uh, then there will be a small interview. Uh, They'll just ask basic questions, which university are you going and what do you want to study? And uh, yeah, and that's it. And as far as the the whole process, is it really expensive or is it like, does the government help? Because I know in some countries, like I have friends from Saudi Arabia where the government helped them a lot to mm -hmm. come and study and they would even give them like monthly, um, like a, a monthly amount so they could, you know, live and eat and all of that. For India, they don't really help you and you have to pay all the fees yourself. And the fee was around $400, but I don't remember. Mm -hmm. And uh, other than that, there might be like some fee that your college will charge to send over the documents mm -hmm. and everything you have to pay for yourself. And as, uh, do you remember if the wait time was a lot or because I know also some of some places have like a lottery or something where they only allow, you know, like 10,000 students to do this program. Mm -hmm. Do you know if there was any like limitations or were you like, okay, I want to do it and you were able to do it? Uh, so I don't think that there's like a limitation when you're applying for a student visa, but there definitely is a limitation when you're applying for a work visa. Mm -hmm. So the lottery is when you're applying for your H1B, which is the work visa. Mm -hmm. And uh, for student visas, they... Uh, I haven't like heard of these cases, yeah. but the processing times may vary. For example, right now, like a lot of students have to wait a lot to get appointments, but that's because of COVID. Of COVID, yeah. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah, that, that's what I was thinking, like for people who want to come here as actors, like if mm -hmm. you're interested in coming to the US um, as a student, I would assume that, you know, while you're here studying, then they could um, like get hired for jobs because you worked during your schooling, right? So you were allowed to work? Uh, not not during my first semester, uh, but from my second semester, I was allowed to work part time. So I was allowed to work 20 hours a week. Oh, OK. Yeah. And for acting, I mean, if you end up if you end up coming to the US and you're working here while you're a student, it's very likely that you will get like a short film or a student film. You're most likely not going to get a big Hollywood film while you're here. So it's not like you're going to, you know, get booked up so much that you won't be able to study. But that's my biggest suggestion for you. If you want to come to the U.S. to become an actor is come as a student because you're going to have so much support mm -hmm. and um, you're going to meet so many people. When I went to university, there were people from um, China and Italy for sure. And I think maybe Japan, too. But there were a lot of students who came to the US either after they were done with their studies and had like 
you know, a little bit of a, a program that they were able to do. If you guys saw the video with Nikolai, he was from Germany. Um, but a lot of people definitely do it. And that's how, you know, I feel like that's a really easy way to like, you know, yeah. instead of coming with like no friends, no family, anything to a new country, it's really cool to come as a student because you can meet so many people easily because you're in classes together. Yeah. Um, and speaking of that, how did you feel coming as an adult to a new country? Because I came here when I was four. <laughs> so like, I don't even remember. To me, it's normal. But did you have like culture shock? What happened when you got here? Uh, so it was different in some ways. And in some ways it was um, kind of similar. So if, you're, if you come from like a big city, uh, the lifestyle would probably like be the same. Mm. You'd, you'd kind of and you the... lived in a big city. Yeah. You lived in Delhi, right? Yes. Okay. So you you do the same things basically, but maybe like in a different place. Yeah. Uh, but apart from that, yeah, there was a culture shock because I had to now do things that I didn't do back home. And uh, so I learned to cook and clean and all of those <laughs> things. Which, which, <laughs> which, so I should, which I should have known. Um, but <laughs> but living funny. in India is a bit different. Like you don't really go out and do your own groceries. and. Oh, you don't? What? Who does that? <laughs> so either you have people who do it for you or okay. the vendors come right to your doorstep. Oh, yeah. So you can just like go down. Yeah, that's it. so true. Like yeah. even in Mexico, mm -hmm. um, I mean, even even in Mexico, like my family is not wealthy at all. But there's yeah. always like people coming from other countries or from like, like they just have less money. So you're able to hire them for like a reasonable price. And they also come like door to door, sell you water, gas, bread, <laughs> vegetables. You're so right. Yeah. I, yeah. Duh. Um, but that's hilarious. You're like, I had to learn to clean and cook. I love cleaning. Like I love organizing. So hearing that I was like, what? <laughs> Yeah, I know I'm, I'm a to weirdo, take your help to like redecorate my living room. Today. Yes, mm -hmm. and organize if you need anything. I just organized <laughs> my mom's like whole pantry. <laughs> oh yeah. Um, and did did you ever get homesick? Because for me, I moved only to the Bay Area from north, like uh, near Sacramento for mm -hmm. college. And every time I said bye to my mom, and I would see her like every weekend, I would just cry. <laughs> So how did you how did you like adjust with that? I mean, obviously you it's easy for you to make friends because you're like super outgoing. But how how did that work out for you? Yeah, I think like goodbyes are the hardest. So, yeah, like, when you're leaving home, that it hits you the most that time. Yeah. Uh, but if you have friends there that are here, that helps a lot. And um, basically, like if you kind of like celebrate the same festivals that mm -hmm. you used to do that you used to back home, then that like. It's like a little piece of home here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And sometimes you have like distant relatives and then you kind of like talk to them. So that also helps. Like, yeah. Makes and, you feel more. And different. I'm sure there were a lot of people in like that were here that also were in the same situation mm -hmm. or that came from India. Yeah. Right? Yeah. That was most of my friend group in college. So. Oh, okay. So that, that <laughs> definitely helps. I feel like with like feeling like you are home. Cause same mm -hmm. thing with me, I moved out to college with two of my best friends from high school. And well, one of them was like my best friend and the other one was more of like a friend that I've known forever, but mm -hmm. they were both Mexican and it was really easy to like cook the same meals. And we knew they liked it where, you know, if we were roommates and I cook, like, I don't know, like there's, this I would still like it. You would, you would still like it, but some of them you'd probably be like, that's weird. Like pig skin. Like, I love pig skin. Um, like, Alex hates it, my boyfriend. So I feel like there's certain foods that you'd be like, uh -huh. hmm. But yeah. that's good. That's good that you were able to find, like, a community where you felt like you were at home. Mm -hmm. And would you recommend this experience to other people? Like, whether they're coming for acting or singing or mm -hmm. engineering, like, would you recommend uh, people to, like, go to a different country for part of their college experience? Yeah, I definitely recommend this to like people, not just like for college, but also like if you just want to travel alone, uh, you should because that helps you grow and changes you in so many ways. I feel that it has helped me a lot, like personality wise and like talking to new people, making more friends because I was kind of like a bit introverted when I was in Delhi. But then when I moved to the city, like you have to make new friends and do everything yourself so you, you naturally become like a better person and learn so much yeah and you learn how to clean and cook <laughs> <laughs> no 
No, but I, I totally agree with that. Like, I have a little sister, and I always say, like, I hope she goes off to college, like, mm -hmm. somewhere. Because going to, like, community college, or like you said, your undergrad at home to, like, save money or to just because that's what you have to do or want to do is really great. But really pushing yourself out there and doing things mm -hmm. um, makes you so much more confident and just going for it. Especially in acting, you have to just go for it. Like, I've been pursuing acting for almost 14 years, but... I have recently found out like I just need to keep doing it and keep going, you know, because a lot of years I was afraid to audition and, you know, interviews are very similar <laughs> to auditions. So you can imagine like being told no mm -hmm. like 12 times a month for job interviews. Oh, God. You know? <laughs> Well, thank you so much, Shivali, for coming onto the channel today. And if you guys have any additional questions about coming to the U.S. from India specifically, maybe we can do another video in the mm -hmm. future for her channel. So you guys can go check out her channel um, or maybe she can answer them in the comments. So thank you so much for watching. And at the end of every video, I feature another channel. And today, of course, it's going to be Shivali's channel. Go check it out. Leave her a comment. Tell her you saw her from my channel. And um, <laughs> have a good one.